see it moving and slowly pressing itself forward. It must be a very slow process. I'm wondering how long it takes. Oh look, it's starting to try and split through at the head end. You can see it moving. I'm trying to split the head to get out. This moth is uh, just coming out. Wow. Wow, here it comes. How amazing. Gosh, we're about to see how the wings unfold. We have the legs coming out. like the wings haven't they're not the right length they're too short you can see again this this bum end is really fluffy and white and I've seen that white fluffy stuff inside some of the spent cocoons I'm wondering what happens now how do the wings Come the full length. Wow. Here's the hole that it came out of in the spent cocoon. Here's some other holes. You can see how big they are. You can see the length of this moth. I have very large hands. at the fluffy legs. What I think I'm seeing happening is that these wings are sort of magically unfurling and um, getting towards their full length. They're sort of drying. They're uncrumpling. Like uh, like they were a packed parachute, and now they're unfurling very slowly, almost at full length, getting the uh, the sort of fighter plane shape. Wowee! Look at him! Look at him! Oh, Jesus, it's amazing. How does he know what to do? Look at two layers of wings. He must have known to lift them to dry them out. There's a breeze blowing. It's still very fluffy on the body there. What a beautiful creature. I'll tell you something else. These holes that they come out of, you can see the, the old cocoons in there. Here's an example of where the tree is healed around an old cocoon. And I can tell that is so because there's still little bits of the cocoon sticking out of the wound. Because these are serious wounds. 
Look at the size of some of these holes. That's, that's how big they are. Minutes as a moth. Must be quite a surprise. <laughs>